The physicality of the game overall back then was way Listen, different. The physicality so the, and the travel alone mm -hmm. would destroy you. Mm -hmm. you, would tr you would practice and then get on the plane and be knocked out just because the, the practice. Whole ride. The practice was so let hard. This, let me ask y'all this stuff. Practice so hard. Like, I don't care what you did in the summer. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about when you played that Facts. first preseason Facts. game. Can't was breathe. you tired as hell? Like, 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 it didn't matter. And don't what let it you be in them. Yeah. Two a days, run here, pick up games, and you say, like, that first preseason game. Felt like you smoked you a pack like of camels. You felt like you was out of shape still, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I felt like, like you smoked oh a pack of camels. That first preseason game. Weed. <laughs> like, I was what like, is going damn, on? Damn, because the pace is so much. So much you ain't great. Bro, bro, got some white shit on side of your lips. Why? Victim, victim. Oh, those game boys. You at the feet alarm? I got the chalk mouth. Hey, look, your homie on the line. Lick the chalk mouth. That's him. That's the match. You tell me about the game. Let's say stack. Lick the chalk I could be at the reason why I'm like, yo, lick them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> got you, dog. That shit was powdery. <laughs> See, I mean, what about for you? I mean, you're coming in as a high school player. Uh, yeah, right? One of the first of the first to come out there and do it. You're going there with some real vets. Like, what's Man. your mentality? I'm, you're pretty much a kid going into a real men's situation, but a lot of expectations because you're such a high pick, too. Man, my first day in training camp was, was hell. If I'm being honest, man, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the old heads didn't want, <laughs> they wanted a polished college player and um, they didn't want to be part of a rebuild. And these niggas was acting like they had won a fucking championship before I got here. Actually, y'all niggas were more trash before I got here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I didn't understand it, but then, you know, we had certain guys on the team. You know, we had Christian Lakeman, we had, you know, Doug West, we had Sam Mitchell, we had a bunch of vets and they were just, you know, gutter veterans, just, you know, workmen, you know, no real superstars and none of that. And then the first thing I actually got to see was the hate. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know me. I, I run about three, four motherfuckers. So, you know, whenever I show up, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really tripping on nothing. It's when we got into practice. And then Kevin McHale is, it's a new system with me. So everything that everybody not did in here, who I came out of college two year, four year, don't matter, the high school kid in here. So these are new rules. So you look up. Yeah, four or five of my guys in here. Feel me? So <laughs> <laughs> at practice? Right? At practice, right here. I'm saying like, what they doing though. I can throw the ball, they can throw it back to me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they in here. So they watching me go through the drills, y'all. Man, the first, I think, first but I'm saying five you had drills, your guys there as a case something popped off? No, ain't nothing. They, my, they let my so Kevin McHale <laughs> figured you're younger. So you're not gonna be able to relate to a 40-year-old man who yeah. got kids. J.R. Rod's the only nigga in here that I'm really like. Oh, yeah, me and him, cool. They don't want me nowhere near JR. JR fired it up. I'm just talking about JR. JR, JR. He yeah. it, though. He in the city, yeah. popping. All, you know, yeah. he, he's all, he's the closest thing to a superstar, but he also young like me. So we listen to the same music. We doing the same little bop in the locker room. Right, right. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody like, like, what the fuck they doing? You know, these old niggas listen to Stephanie Mills. You know what I'm saying? Shit my mom listened to. Right, right. We ain't here listening to Onyx, you know what I'm saying? We ain't here, you know, Nas, you know what I'm right, saying? They, right. they ain't understand none of that. So coming into those new new nuances, I had a I had a, a clean slate, and I didn't know what to compare it to. I just, this is what, this is my opportunity. So the first joint, Joe, I just I just got into a bunch of rumbles, you know, tied up, nigga bowled, I bowled him back, like a bunch of that shit. And I just remember the first, after the first joint, dog, you should have saw me. I had ice all the way up my mm. leg. And I was so, I had cramped. I was, I didn't know about, I, <laughs> I'm drinking four, five. The, the old head's laughing at me. Young fella, you got to get that uh, Gatorade ready to make sure you have that donuts. And they just throwing it all on me. I'm, I'm sitting up here, whatever. Kevin McHale came and sat right by me. He's like, just want you to know, young fella, I did 13 of these. They get better. They get lighter. You know what I'm saying? Oh, don't worry about those guys. Those guys are not going to be here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> when he said that, I was here. like, huh? They're not going to be here. Got back to the room. Sam Mitchell came in, knocked on the door. Those niggas was giving me a rough time. I opened up with the chain on. What, nigga? Yeah. I opened up the door, motherfucker. I want to holler at you, nigga. <laughs> so, man, I shut the door, man. Get the fuck away from my door. Boom, shut the door in his face. Doom, 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 doom. Hey, look here, motherfucker. I'm gonna kick this motherfucker in, you know. Like, he got a whole pimp comp. Like, he got a whole, you know what I'm saying? But I let him in, dog. We talked for two hours, and after that, I knew Sam Mitchell had my back for the rest of the year. He's just a real one, you know what I'm saying? And he locked, we locked in. He was a Georgia boy, you know what I'm saying? I was a South Carolina, so we talked. We, we was some country boys out here. And he respected on how I went, bro. And, and I can say having him in my corner, man, gave me the confidence, because when you, when you show up and you ain't never played a big dog or you ain't never played a, 
a Jamal Mashburn or a fucking uh, a goddamn, uh, I'm just, uh, C. Webb, uh, Juwan, I'm, I'm thinking about all the people that I looked up to and looked up and, yeah, Big Dog was talking that shit, yeah, motherfucker, this ain't high school, yeah, bone your little out, yeah. Then he talking this, you know, he, Big Dog talking that Gary shit, you know what I'm saying? Knowing I was coming from the West Side, so we, we was talking a whole nother language. But then, everybody who said Sabalas, I took, I took some hits for like first 15 games, dog, I went through some shit. Boy, that 30th game, that 25, 22 game, I started understanding how to get through picks and started getting a little strong and started getting my little turnaround off nigga, it was over. Never looked back and I remember all them niggas who made, all them little wisecracks, all that little, all that little shit, I made little side notes and just came back, dove back. Yeah, said Sabalas, yeah, you won't touch it tonight, nigga. I know how to deny wings now, nigga. <laughs> not deny wings. Three. I was just, I was just doubling back. I was gonna say, you was playing the three, right? And bro, after that, bro, mm -hmm. when I got it, I never let the juice go. When I had the juice, Traded JR, they traded Christian. Next thing I know, Steph was in here. Next thing I know, it was a bunch of young, it was young energy, bro. It was, it was, we was on and popping after that.